but you guys the other day i made a video saying windows 11 is coming and of course i had no real tangible evidence that windows 11 was coming but now you can see all over the internet windows 11 leaked version and this is the so-called leaked version as you can see here we have got a windows logo here which is the new windows 11 or so-called windows 11 but when you click next it does go back to the windows 10 logo so if this is a glorified fake then obviously someone's missed that part there i'm going to go ahead and install this on the system and take a look at the so-called windows 11 leaked version so everything looks the same up until this point here it does state that it says windows 11 here so i'm going to go windows 11 pro and we will then go down and we will click next once we do this we can go down to oh we can see the uh last updated 2021 june 2021 could accept those terms conditions that does look like it's had a bit of a a change and the in installation part is not really changed up until this point here we can see we've got a much nicer gui here to look at it does look a lot more nicer and, and looks more modern and you could just choose your country and region here as you would normally do uh, but it's just much more nicer to look at you can now choose your keyboard layout here and once you've done that you can click next and you can skip a second keyboard layout unless you want one and again it's going to go off and check for updates and then once that's done it's going to move on to the next step which is uh, your sign up for your personal use and again you can click on this one here click next and move on to let's add an account you can log in here with your microsoft account or you can sign in as sign in options here click on this and this will give you that same old offline option if you want to use that um, option which i'm going to be using in this video so just click on this one here and go to the offline option here so you still have to jump for a few hoops uh, to get to the sign in page here and they still got a lot of um privacy things on here and i'll share that a little bit later on we've got limited experience here which i'm going to click on here so let me click on this and then i can add in a username for the user profile that i'm going to be using here now let's just put brightek in here and click next and once we've done this we can move on to the next stage which is your password now you can put a password in here if you choose not to do a password you can do that as well and there you're getting your privacy settings here this has had a little change as you can see here these have just got these little toggle buttons here it's the same thing really it just looks a much more nicer to look at so you can just go through here and toggle these off these are all your to do with your telemetry and advertising and all that sort of stuff that you had before and once you've done that we can click next it will move on to the next stage and uh, basically start to get things ready for you as you can see here now this bit changed here which is getting a few things ready and then you get a nice little blue background dropping up and then you will literally get to the desktop of the operating system so not vast amounts of changes just a, a, a nicer gui to look at compared to the um, way it was installed before and there you go we're at the desktop here now you can see it's all centralized here you can move that to the left or the right or leave it in the center uh, but you need to be activated to do that but you can see it does look a, a little bit different so looking inside file explorer you can see the folder icons have all been changed to a nice uh, gooey look so they do look pretty nice again but you could do that with some sort of theme pack or something like that to change all this if you wanted to and again coming on down on the left it's all been changed there as well the explorer experience up the top here is all looks very similar to windows 10 doesn't look like anything's been changed at all and uh, they've still got all the same sort of stuff down here except for the icons have all been changed a little bit by the looks of it and again they still don't show hidden folders or drives and you can see they still hide extensions and that's to make it look nice and cleaner but personally i would prefer to have that shown by default because obviously people click on stuff all the time which they shouldn't be clicking on and they don't realize it's an executable file inside the search area that's all changed a little bit you do have access to apps and uh, documents web and more all inside here you can access your weather and all that other sort of stuff if that's your thing again i will probably disable a lot of that stuff 
but you can see inside here you've got access to all this area here now moving on to the next section windows store is still available here so you can see we can still see windows store here and when you move on down to the area here we can see on the about page it does say the addition is windows 11 pro but that's easily changeable for someone who knows what they're doing you can see version is the dev version and also it does say installed and it also says the build number and it says also windows feature experience pack now of course this can't be the final release because obviously it's still in uh, version dev so they need to re release the full version if this is a version and you can click on the start button here and you still get access to that menu system here but it just looks a lot smaller a lot more compact and much more nicer to look at let's go to the search area here and have a look at control panel see if that's still on here and i thought they were going to phase this out but it looks like it's still here gui does look a little bit different it does look like it's had a, a bit of a facelift and brought it up to date a little bit uh, but it's still there and maybe they find it difficult to completely get rid of it because people are so used to using the control panel uh, but everything else inside here does look as is it does look normal but it's just the main icons on the front here that looks different okay let's quickly uh, check winver here to see what version of windows this says it is and to see whether we get the windows 11 logo so let's go in here and you can see it does say windows 11 here okay so let's open up a file explorer here again i just want to take a look at this pc to see what the icon looks like you see it's changed on there as well so they've got the new windows logo with the drive there and the folders look at to have a little bit more of a spacing between the between them you can see there's a bit more of a spacing between them inside the windows directory here so that does look a bit more nicer actually um, with the space in there you can actually see it a lot more clearer um, but other than that that is inside there let's move on to another thing that i wanted to show you here for it is the actual the way the fault the folders open and close they just look like they've got a much more mac feel to them or linux feel to them when you open and close these they've sort of ever look how they expand and, and open up there they do look much more nicer so i do like that feature that's been added in here and if you hover over this little button up the top here it does have options to snap this into location so you can snap this into the left or right and i think that is a much better option rather than dragging and snapping this is a lot more quicker and easier and a lot more nicer in my opinion so i do like that feature as well that they've added in here and you just hover over it and you can quickly snap it into position there much more nicer and it gets it in position where you want it so if you've got a few folders open you can easily uh, deal with those very quickly with that method there much more nicer so what do you guys think do you think this is the legitimate windows 11 leak or do you think it's uh, someone's pet project where they've been doing their own upgrades to it for the last few months and released it out there and pretending it's windows 11 i really don't know i mean for microsoft to release this by accident you know or someone getting their hands on it would have to be someone high up windows 10 version next is on the update here it doesn't say windows 11 it says windows 10 version next maybe they haven't named it yet i really don't know but there's a lot of little small telltale signs that they've got little small mistakes like that little logo there uh, and some other bits and pieces but it's still got parts of windows 10 in here and those sort of mistakes can be made by microsoft themselves now they have done a complete uh, change up on the sounds as well for this version of windows they're much more mellow and uh, calm they're not so harsh so let me know what you guys think whether you think this is the real windows 11 or whether it's someone just messing around and pranking people who knows if you go head over to the microsoft website you can see there's even some sort of conspiracy theory going on there with the light coming through the window and it says 11 but if you look at it there it actually in the shape of 11 and of course the time that they're doing it is 11 a.m as well which i've already mentioned in my previous video and again if you head over to the windows uh, youtube channel they've just released or they haven't released it, it's unlisted 
Windows Startup Sounds Slow Fire Remix, and it is 11 minutes long. And people are claiming that is a sign that it is Windows 11. I mean, I really don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see on the 24th of June, and they're going to announce it whether this is the real Windows 11 release or whether it's just, uh, you know, uh, another update. Who knows? I guess time will tell. I don't normally buy into all the leaked images and leaked uh, benchmarks and all this sort of stuff that you see on YouTube and on the internet. And the reason for it is because a lot of it's fake. And half of the time, there's complete differences between the leaked stuff and the uh, the general releases that they actually release. And there's a lot of people on YouTube that do that as well with CPUs and graphics. I mean, GamerMail does it a lot. It's just constant, uh, you know, leaked stuff that they find on the internet and then they post it on YouTube. And of course, people believe everything they see in it. But with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.